Hello, and welcome to Common Core for Kids Nightly News. Tonight, we have a very special report on someone amazing. That would be me, of course, the number one. Let's take a look at the news story that happened to me today. Today, I really need your help with learning some basic fractions. I have these shapes that my friends and I wanted to play with, but we had a problem. Every time I divided the shape to share it, one of us got mad because we did not get as much as the others did, and it did not seem fair. This is why we are learning about fractions today, so I can know how to make it fair for everyone. Here is a circle, and there are three of us who want to share the circle. So I broke off two pieces and gave them to my friends. They did not think that was fair. What do you think? Do we each have even pieces of the circle? We do not, and that is something important about fractions. To be a fraction, you have to have equal pieces. Right now, we do not have equal pieces, so this cannot be a fraction. Let's try this again with another circle. All right, here we have another circle, and I am going to divide this whole circle into three pieces. Now we have three pieces, and guess what? They are all equal, which means all three of us get the same amount of the circle. This is really cool stuff. I did not know I liked fractions this much. A fraction represents a part of a whole. The green part of the circle is mine to play with. I have one of three parts of the circle. We call this a third. I have one third of the whole circle. When we write fractions, they look like this. We have a number with a line in the middle and another number underneath. The number on the bottom always shows all the parts of the whole circle. In this case, we have three parts that make up the whole circle, so we have a three on the bottom. Now on the top, we have the number one. If you look at the third of the circle that is colored green, you will see that there is just one part. This is my part of the circle. The number one on top represents my part of the circle. I have one third of the whole circle. Okay, my friends went home and gave me back their parts of the circle. Now I have all the parts of the circle. I have what we call three thirds of the circle. I have three parts over the total, which is three parts, which means I have three thirds. This also means I have the whole circle all to myself because I am not sharing any pieces, so the three thirds that I have are mine right now. Now I have a rectangle, and it is just one piece. Oops. It looks like I have more than one piece now. I have two pieces, and they are equal to each other, so we have a fraction. I have two pieces which make a whole. One of these pieces makes up half of the whole shape. Together, I have two halves of the whole shape. That is awesome. Here is another circle, and I divided this circle into four separate parts. Right now, I have four pieces over four pieces. We call these four fourths. There are one, two, three, four pieces, which gives us four fourths. But. Hey, I want one. Me too. Me three. I have three sisters that want a piece of the circle. I have one fourth of the circle. But can you tell me how many fourths of the circle my sisters have? They have three fourths of the circle. These fractions are easier than I thought. Thank you so much for helping me today. Now I better give the three fourths to my sisters, or there will be trouble. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.